everybody welcome to my channel and as you can see gonna be doing some water marbling I'm gonna attempt to make this a very fast video but you know how that goes I always say it but it never really happens does it so I'm starting off with a little medicine cup this is like from NyQuil um, with room temperature bottled water I do not find that there is any difference between bottled water or tap water and my tap water is extremely hard so you know as far as I'm concerned that doesn't seem to matter um, however the temperature does matter it needs to be in the same room so just keep a bottle of whatever in the same room that you keep your polishes and as long as your polish and your water are the same temperature there shouldn't be any problem I use a six inch hat pin the link to everything all the links except for the cup I mean suck down a bottle of NyQuil and you'll have a cup cinnamon roll icing comes in uh, if I need a little bigger surface um, that one is just bigger I also use the little Dixie cups or the little plastic shot glass cups also have a sponge here an old makeup sponge that I saturate in acetone to stop 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 and clean my needle after every swipe the polishes um, I'm going to be using I have on my fingers now is free agent from brave Steven nail polish she is bringing that one back on Halloween on the black pumpkin sale I'm also gonna be using from worst to first this is another cream that she's bringing back just for the sale this one we hope and pray she's bringing back she's gonna to try to do it at least one year contract I'm gonna be using Manny Defender this one is a limited edition that Lana and Ren sent me. They also sent me an orange one. It's around here somewhere. But I love Manny Defender for water marble. So it goes on gray and then it dries black. So cool. Right, so I didn't really have any kind of a plan for a pattern here. Um, you want to let your polishes spread all the way out before you add another drop or you're going to end up with something kind of muddy. And here I'm just kind of swirling around a little because it wasn't anchored to the edge of the cup and if it's not it just kind of floats around when you're trying to draw a pattern in there this stuff stays wet forever on the water too it's so nice it spreads out and it stays creamy and it doesn't start drying out on the edges you you have a lot of time to play with this polish So I just start off with um, drawing, okay, you know, it looks like a JJ, okay. And then I thought I was going to do a spider web. But then I just wasn't feeling it. <laughs> just, <laughs> it looks like a spider web, but I don't know. It needed to be smaller. And then I just completely changed my mind. <laughs> and I said, that looked kind of like, I mean, it's, it's like a sharp pointed flower petal, but I don't know, I kept going down with it and I thought, ooh, that looks really cool.
you see the edges still are not dried out. I'm still able to draw on the edges. Now I'm just going to find a place to dip. This sometimes is like the hardest part. What the heck? Where am I going to dip this at? And as you can see, hopefully, I am pushing my nail through the design, rolling it through it, and down into the water at the same time. I use just a old orange wood stick to clear off the top. You can use, you know, a toothpick or something. Just or um, an old pop stick. Just don't use a cotton swab that has cotton on it because you're just gonna get cotton fuzzies in your water. And then right away you want to take your an orange wood stick or cuticle pitch or whatever and score around your cuticle all the way around your nail your sidewalls and get that liquid latex off right away before it's dry because once that pole starts drying it's like crusty on top of it and doesn't peel away very well just don't let it schmack your fingernail snap back and schmack oh look I have a cape and just clean it up and then let it dry before you top coat And you need to really make sure that you are going completely through the polish into the water when you're doing this. Now you can use a toothpick or a water marble tool, marble tool or whatever you want to use. I just like this because I can get super sharp lines. But make sure you're going all the way through because when you dip your nail, what's underneath is what is going to be showing on top of your nail when you flip it up. So the design that's showing right now is not what you're going to see on my nail and if you're not careful and go all the way through the polish into the water you're going to end up with a muddy mess now you can also use a stamper head and make a decal let it dry pick it up with the stamper head and make a decal and then you'll have two sides to choose from which one you like the best this looks so cool. I should have dipped a little bit more into that like swirl at the base. But I also wanted to kind of do like a starburst that met with my ring finger. Matched. You know? And we're just gonna speed through a couple more um, well actually just one more because I changed my mind I was gonna do all my fingers but then I thought oh it's just like too much so I went ahead and just put from worst to first and one year contract on my index and pinky and don't forget to check out Tara's sale brave Stevie nail polish all the links will be below um, she's having a black pumpkin sale on Halloween night and it'll be open for 24 hours and she's going to drastically mark down a lot of polishes and she's going to bring back Nana's Island collection. Um, also, at least two of these, hopefully all three of these. And Free Agent and One Year Contract both stamp also. And you guys should have come to, to uh, bingo the other night because I gave away the one of the jingle all the way or jingle whatever um, Manny LJ stamping kits, the Christmas kits. Gave one away in bingo. You could have won it, but you didn't, did you? Well, somebody did. All right, you guys. Thanks for joining me. Check out the links below. Bye. What do you think? Oh, start that boat. Start that boat up. Vroom, vroom. Yeah.
Oh, that was scary. <laughs> Mud yard. Less time mowing. Doggy's gonna help you. Um, let's mow the, can you mow the grass please? Yeah, the grass. Thank you. Mow the grass. It takes you, I gotta, I gotta run, I gotta go. <laughs> hey, you let, you just left the mower in the yard. Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo! Boogie boogie boo!